What's up guys, it's Michael from the Pokemon Connection here, and welcome to part 4 of my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. In the previous episode, I conquered the first gym leader in Kanto, Brock, user of Rock Types, leader of the Pewter City Gym, holder of the Boulder Badge, and, um, I trained Charmander quite a fair amount because, <clears throat> sorry, Ares rather, not Charmander. And by the way, if my voice sounds weird or I cough, I kind of have a sore throat and a bit of a cold, so, that's all. Anyway, um, I trained Ares quite a bit. Uh, the reason he's so much higher than Sparky, which I don't really like that much, is just because, um, and by the way, I don't like the fact that he's higher than Sparky. It's not, I wasn't saying I don't like Sparky. Anyway, I love Sparky. Um, basically, uh, the reason I train him, uh, so much higher, um, like, like I said before, I don't want to be one of those people who only trains their starters, but at the beginning of the game, sometimes it's necessary because Sparky is next to useless on, uh, Brock because he literally cannot affect any of his Pokemon. Whereas Ares had, uh, learned Metal Claw at, I believe, level 13, so I had to train him quite a bit to actually even be able to do damage to Brock. <laughs> because, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't me any use training Sparky because he was gonna be absolutely useless in that gym. So, that's all. But now, I'm gonna put him first in my party and get him a whole bunch of training. And, in fact, he's gonna get a lot of training on the second gym as well, because it's water type. So, here we are on Route 3. And on this route, I'm actually going to be catching two Pokemon, uh, two new additions to my team, which you will see in a bit. Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? <coughs> Sorry guys. <coughs> God, I am like really sick right now. Anyway, last chance would like to battle. She sends out Pidgey Ghost Sparky. Alright, I'm gonna go for Thundershock on Pidgey here. It's super effective. I actually can't believe it didn't kill Pidgey. That seems really weird. Alright, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption there. Someone was calling me on the phone. Anyway. Last gen is about to send out another Pidgey. No, I will not switch. I will just destroy this thing with Sparky. Because Sparky is a boss. And he goes for a sand attack, so my accuracy falls. I go for Thunder Shock and get it anyway. And some XP points, which is awesome. And go to level 10. And get 144 bucks from her. That's pretty sweet. So now we got a bug catcher up here. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. It's weird because I didn't see him in Viridian Forest. Bug catcher Colton. Sends out his Caterpie, level 10. I go for Thundershock, and that's going to do about half this thing's health. I go for another one, and that actually doesn't kill it. So I guess it didn't do half its health. That's, that's kind of weird. Anyway, I get a crit, which is actually useless, because it was going to kill it regardless. But he goes for a Weedle here, which kind of sucks, because I don't want to get poisoned. It goes for a String Shot, though, which is awesome, because I was I was kind of thinking maybe it was going to go for like a, a Poison Sting and end up poisoning me. But there we go, Poison Sting. But I don't get poison, which is pretty awesome so um sparky's actually about to level up he sends out a caterpie he goes for a string shot of course like these bug catchers and their string shots just everywhere that's all they do oh man still pretty monotonous actually the battles at the beginning of the game they haven't gotten quite interesting yet but caterpie faints and sparky goes to level 11 and is trying to learn quick attack so yes Sparky actually has a full move uh, set. This is the first time I think I've had to delete a move to make room for another one. Anyway, I need to delete Growl for Quick Attack. Sparky forgot Growl, and Sparky learned Quick Attack. Bucket your Colton is defeated. You beat me again. Alright. Here is, uh... uh I'm guessing a youngster. <laughs> Hi, I like shorts. They're delightful and comfy and, e delightful, comfy and easy to wear. I've always, like, just, just some of the dialogue at the beginning, like, right before a battle that trainers give you is always so weird. Anyway, he sends out a rat attack, and goes for a quick attack, I go for a shock. But yeah, like, like, I don't know, it must have been fun just to write that kind of dialogue, just like the trainers, just, just like, right, just, just sitting there all day, just brainstorming things to write as opening dialogue for trainers, and Sparky actually dies, which kind of sucks. Uh, so, I accidentally used Scratch, I, Scratch, I kind of meant to use Ember, um, but yeah. So Sparky's dead, that kind of sucks. Ares is now going to take out this Ekans, except my attack fell, so... Yeah. I'll just keep using special attacks like I was before. Anyway, Youngster Ben is defeated. I don't believe it. Mike got $176 for winning. And I'm just going to go to the Pokemon Center real quick so I can keep training Sparky. See you in a few. Alright guys, I'm back and Sparky is all healed up. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> I always do that. And, yeah, gonna continue on with this route. Got another bug catcher here. Should be easy to take out. Are you a trainer? Let's get with it. R get on get on with it right away. I, I don't know. I didn't read that fast enough. I clicked uh, A pretty quickly. Anyway, bug catcher Greg sends out a Weedle. Uh, there's actually a lot of trainers on this route, if you notice. Like, there's a lot of freaking trainers on this route. It's actually pretty crazy. Might be difficult to get this entire route done within this episode, because it's probably, uh... 
probably gonna get uh, get cut short before the end of the episode. We're probably <clears throat> sorry, jeez, my I'm not even thinking straight. I'm so tired and I got this cold. But as I was trying to say, um, I probably will not be able to finish this route because I bet you it'll take take up longer than 15 minutes, which is kind of my limit for uh, episodes. I don't like to go past 15 minutes just because just kind of file size uh, issues and stuff. It gets the the file gets too big. It takes too long to upload, and rendering takes a long time. And anyway, basically. Yeah. Hopefully I can get just through the route. I may or may not be able to. Anyway, Sparky goes to level 12. He's about to send in Metapod. I gotta keep in Sparky. Alright, Metapod's paralyzed, which doesn't really matter because it's just gonna be using Harden anyway. Oh, but it got, uh, it has Shed Skin. I forgot about that. So it's actually not paralyzed anymore. Alright, Metapod is defeated. Sparky gains 138 HP points and Bugcatcher Greg is defeated. Alright, now really quickly, guys. Uh, I need to just train Ares. Uh, yeah, one level here for, uh, just because he's about to evolve, which is awesome. So, that look he gave me, it's so intriguing. Alright, so we got last Sally here, who's, like, hitting on us, and she sends out her Rattata. And I got Ares, and I'm gonna go for an Ember. But yeah, I'm just gonna level up Ares, because he's pretty close, and he's gonna evolve next level, which is exciting. Uh, this Rattata gets a critical hit, and basically one more Pokemon, and I will level up. So she's gonna send out Nidoran, girl, female, Nidoran, female? I don't know. Anyway, um... Defense falls, Ember, Nidoran, girl is down, and Ares grows to level 16, which is sick because, wait for it, evolution. Alright guys, Ares has evolved into Charmeleon, which is awesome because Charmeleon, now its stats are all increased and stuff, and Charmeleon just looks really super cool. So, let's look at his stats really quickly here, just to, uh, I'll just, I'll just show you guys the difference between his stats now and, uh, Pikachu's. Just because he evolved, this, this isn't so much to do with level, it's more to do with the fact that he's second evolution now. So, like I said, his special attack is 34, Pikachu's is 17. That's how much, uh, that's how much stat gain you get from evolving, because... If he was still a Charmander, the, the stats would be nowhere near that different. So, I gotta train Sparky now that he's this far behind, so... Yeah. Anyway, next bug catcher. I'll beat you up- I'll battle- uh, Sorry, I'm just stumbling everywhere. I'll battle you with Pokemon I just caught. Alright, so, we got bug catcher James here. He's gonna send out a Caterpie level 11. And I'm just gonna go for a Thunder Shock on this guy. And he's paralyzed. One thing I love about Pikachu, just the par paralysis from Static and from uh, Thunder Shock and Thunder Wave and everything, it's just so, so awesome. Um, he's gonna go for Harden, and I'm gonna go for Thunder Shock, and I guess he's gonna go for Harden, and I'm gonna go for Thunder Shock, and there we go. Metapod is taken out. That's probably gonna, yeah, it's, I was gonna say it's gonna get close to leveling me, or maybe even level me, but it didn't level me, but it did get close. So before I go in this grass to catch some Pokemon, I'm just gonna battle this girl here. Eek, did you touch me? Alright, so we got this mini here who's like getting all mad because apparently we like I don't know. Uh, never mind. But anyway, last Robin, she sends out her Jigglypuff. It's level 14. Uh and it's paralyzed. <laughs> Suck on that, Jigglypuff. Alright, it's still paralyzed, and I'm just gonna keep using Thunder Shock, which is actually doing absolutely nothing to this thing. It's like doing just little sections of its health. I guess Jigglypuff has high special defense, or maybe high HP, I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not really, I've never really used a Jigglypuff, or looked into using one, but anyway, Sparky, uh, gained 228 XP points, and grew to level 13, and last defeated, or player defeated, last Robin, like I said, guys, I'm just, I'm just bad today, I apologize, um, so I have to go catch some Pokemon in this grass now, um, I'm going to speed this up, and put some music over it for you guys, because this may take a while, so have fun. Alright, apparently, um, we're gonna get lucky here. So, very first battle, I actually run into one of the two Pokemon I want to find, and actually, I think the rarer of the two to find on this route, which is a Mankey. This one's level 7, and, uh, it's awesome, because I think that's, like, the highest you can find them on this route. So, I'm really hoping I don't get a crit, which I don't, and it goes for a Leer, and I'm just gonna go for the Pokeball right now. Uh, bag. Where is it? Pokeball, there it is. Alrighty. So, 
looking for the Pokeball at Mankey, and hopefully it gets caught. It's gonna spin once, it's gonna spin twice, it's gonna spin three times, and it's caught! You guys remember back in the day when everyone thought like, if you hit A really fast and got caught, or like did all these button combos, it'd be easier to catch like in Pokemon, it was, I don't know. Anyway, number 56, Mankey the Pig Pokemon, which is weird because I think it's a monkey. Uh, standing in at 1 foot 8 inches, weighing in at 61 pounds 7 ounces, which is really heavy for something that's 1 foot high. Light and agile on its feet, and ferocious in temperament when angered, it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. So there you go guys, Mankey, its footprint looks like a Y, or a twig, or a slingshot. Um, <laughs> given a name to the captured Mankey, of course. And I'm gonna name it, uh, where is this Zed? Just from that, you guys, some of you guys can probably already guess what I'm naming it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna name it Zaboomafu, after the monkey from the, uh, kids' show. <laughs> um, Zaboomafu. We have just enough space. I was thinking space might be an issue, uh, but we have just enough for the name. So, there we go, Zaboomafu the monkey is caught, and let's check him out there. See his stats and such. Summary. Uh, naive nature, which I, naive. I know it increases speed, and I think it lowers special defense. But don't take my word for it. I will find it after this episode and tell you guys in the next episode. Anyway, uh, let's get back to it because there's still one more Pokemon I have to catch. All right, here's the second one I was looking for. Um, so yeah, we got pretty lucky. I mean, I only got into three random encounters. Uh, anyway, I, I was thinking it was gonna be a lot more painful than that. So, yeah, anyway, Nidoran Boy, level 6. Um... This is the very other, very other, what am I saying? This is the other Pokemon I'm trying to catch. I'm gonna go for Thundershock and hopefully not kill this thing. Because that would really suck. Alright, so he gets into red health and uses Peck. I forgot these things are in Peck. Which I always thought was weird, because, like, I don't know. It's a flying-type move. But anyway... Uh, I'm gonna throw the Pokeball at Nidoran here, and let's go. One, one Twitch, two Twitch, three Twitch, and it's caught! Awesome, Nidoran, the fourth Pokemon on my team was caught, and I will actually not be catching, or getting, um, my other Pokemon for quite a while, actually, but anyway. Uh, number 32, Nidoran, male, the poison Pokemon, standing in at 1 foot 8 inches, just like Mankey, and weighing in at 19 pounds 8 ounces, which is significantly less than Mankey. Its large ears are flapped like wings when it's listening to distant sounds. It extends toxic barbs when angered. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Give a nickname to the captured Nidoran, of course. Uh, I'm gonna nickname it, uh, Venom, because it's poison type, and I think that fits. Alright, let's go to lowercase. The Whoa, whoops, not the Venom. We want Venom. There we go, Venom, oh whoops, okay, Venom, oh my goodness, I am so sorry guys, I apologize for my bad stuff today that I've been screwing up. Anyway, Rash Nature, uh, which is I guess decent, it raises attack and lowers defense I believe, so that's pretty nice, um, yeah, anyway, um, I may or may not put music over that little training montage. The reason I may not is because it was pretty short, I, and I don't know if it's long enough for putting music over it to be worth it. So if I do, that's awesome. If I don't, I apologize. The reason I don't know if I'm going to or not is just because uh, I put the music up after I record the episode. So um, I'm just going to fight this youngster down here, and then yeah, I'll finish off the episode. So I need some switch training because my Pokemon need it. So I'm going to put Venom in first here, level 6, and do some switch training. Hey, you're not wearing shorts, what's wrong with you? What is up with these youngsters and their shorts? Anyway, this is youngster Calvin, he sends out a Spearow, which is pretty high level, so Nidoran's gonna get killed if I keep him in here. And I will switch to Sparky because, wait, what? Oh, whoops, I tried to shift to Venom again. Anyway, I'm gonna shift to Sparky, whoa, what am I doing? Oh my goodness, okay, no, okay, there we go, Sparky. I really apologize, guys, I've just been awful in this episode. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go for Thundershock here, which hopefully will do significant damage, because it's super effective. Spiro is gonna go for a peck, which is gonna do absolutely nothing. And another, th another Thundershock is gonna get a crit and take it out. Venom grows to level 7. Sparky gains 87 XP points, and the player, Youngster Calvin, is defeated. He's going all crazy. Anyway, um... I'm about to get off this route, so I'll just do that before I end the episode for you guys. Woo! Jumping down ledges, it's awesome. Alright, so basically this is the end of the episode. I will not fight this guy. I will fight him in the next episode. You guys can look forward to that. Anyway, see you guys. Have fun. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. And yeah.